All right. All right, let me take you through exactly what we got here because uh, this is a bit of a heavy, heavy setup. So in a nutshell, because we are running a multi-two station with a TS-990 here and a TS-990 over here, which you can't see right now, <laughs> all in, in with band pass, automated band, band pass filters and so on. This here is the coax switching because I'm addicted, as you probably know, to VFOA and VFOB. And if I'm using the other station, I still want VFOA and VFOB. So what we have here is effectively a f an eight antenna for radio setup. So this is the eight by AB switch from Genius. So there are eight antennas will go in here. Each of these go to the matching ports here. So these are our ins. These are still ins, if you like, and our outs, out A it says, out B, and the same over here. Now I'm not quite sure whether that's radio one VFOA, radio two VFOB, VFOA, and then radio one VFOB and B, I don't know yet. So far, so good. Then what we have is this little toy, which is extremely economical. This gives us 16 12 volt relays to switch. All right, so it doesn't, well, it's got relays and stuff inside here. But what we can do, I can have like the four square, the triangular array, switching a load of beverages and stuff like that. So we've got 16 relays. Each one of these is configured by one of these ports. So in the software, you might select antenna six, and then we get a fly out. That might be the four square. The fly out would say northwest, northeast, southeast, southwest, for instance. Now it just so happens that on our port eight, I'm gonna put a block of six coax switches off the rat pack. So that then will fly out and then we'll get some different antennas. Again, controlled by here because these are just 12 volt switches, okay? So we'll end up with seven here and six on this one. So that's 13 antennas in total. However, if the left-hand radio wants this antenna and this antenna, then the right antenna will only be able to select any of the others, you know, 160 meter, 80 meters and so on. So like the vertical, the 80, 160 vertical, there'll be a fly out. Do you want 80 or 160? 160 will fire a relay here uh, to the bottom of the 18 meter signature, 18, and that'll fire a coil and it'll give us 160, for instance. Right, so in the main, that's the coax switching. It is connected with, you have a LAN port here, and then I believe we daisy chain from the bottom of the kind of master 8x2 to the OM module, and I believe we daisy chain from here to here as well. All right, so far so good. And, and then another ethernet port at the end, which is why we've got the ubiquity switch. Now this used to be the inside switch, but we've got a lot of ethernet out there, so we're running very few control cables now inside. Now the other problem is this. So this is uh, the Rotator Genius. It says it here, Rotator Genius. And again, that's got, uh, well, it's got a USB port for local connectivity, but we don't want that. We want the LAN port. So Ethernet goes in here. And then the two magnetic sensors, which go on two towers. So we don't need the full controller anymore. This tells us where north is, because this will turn around. So again, this is fully software configurable. Any station can grab any rotator and move it. And the nightmare is I've got to work out all this stuff here. But anyway, we'll read the manual and ask chat GPT. But then we'll be able to remote into here, control everything via software, switches, amplifiers, rotators, 
as a kind of a turnkey solution. Similarly, I could log out of this, log into station two over there and do the same thing over there as well. Now that means my friends or people that are capable and have got a good track record, uh, we can discuss. You could come in maybe on station two and have some fun in the middle of the night on 40 meters on the four square or whatever else. But because we've got the two VFOs and we've got the eight, well, uh, 14, 13 antennas, it means we'll be able to transmit very well on the four square and receive both on the four square and some beverages. Okay, so we'll hopefully get a really nice uh, sound. So I'm hoping to put a beverage, um, probably a phased beverage, a pair, just to give us a little bit of warmth for US. I've got space for that. I can do a single for Long Path, VK, ZL, Falklands, Brazil. And we'll do another short path right up the uh, sheep field, almost underground. It'll be beverage on the ground. It won't be uh, up high. The one to the kind of Falklands, Brazil, Long Path, VK, ZL. We'll string that in the trees, about nine feet, just above head height. And there we are. So I, what I've got to do now is wire everything up in here, get the rotators out, the lot, plug it into the switch here, to that switch there, plug everything in, wire it all up and make sure that if I select this antenna, I hear all the light right clicks, I can get the multimeter out and go, yes, that actually worked. And then finally, because you might watch the PTT lockout project, that is not completed. So I've still got some questions and answers there that all needs ptt lockout as well what we don't want to do is be transmitting and change antennas accidentally just a mouse click all right that would do it unfortunately and then as the relay opens that you're transmitting on that would arc and just blow the relay and make a mess of it and then you've got to take the thing off the wall undo it get a replacement plug it in blah 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 we don't want that either so full multi-2 capability Tom asked me yesterday, very kindly, he helped me clear up this place because it was a mess. I said, you probably want to know why I'm doing it. And he went, yeah, why are you doing this? And I haven't got an answer. I think it's because it's difficult and I just want to build a really nice demo station that two people can use simultaneously. Once it's in, you know, if you build it, they will come. If I don't build it, nobody will come. And there we are. Good, well, uh, that's all I have for you today. multi two setup. that's what it's called. I'll see you next time and bye for now.